So I'm just doing a little video here just to explain the do's and don'ts for dog grooming at home. Uh, so number one is do still groom your dog regularly in the groomers. So even if you're doing little trims here and there, doing nail cutting at home, but still go to dog groomers. Number two is be patient. So it's really important for you to be patient with your dog if you're doing any dog grooming from home. Reason being, you still want to have that bond with your dog. You know, Lila can get quite frustrated and doesn't like grooming in long periods of time, which is fine. Number three is to choose a safe place to groom your dog. Um, so when I mean safe place, it could be the floor, it could be a table. Um, definitely plan where you're going to groom your dog at home. Um, will definitely benefit you and your dog. So you may want help. Um, you may do it yourself if you have a grooming table. But if not a dining room table, you can put a yoga mat down. There's loads of different things you can do, but make sure that you groom your dog in a safe place. So number four is use appropriate grooming equipment. So some people um, ask me, you know, I'm going to use uh, my uh, hair clipper on my own dog. Don't do things like that because there's different, you know, the, the dog has a different hair type to human hair. Um, you also don't want to go really short. Um, you could then injure the dog, cut the dog. Um, there's loads of different um, things that can happen. So definitely important to use dog grooming equipment. Um, same with nail clippers. You want that to be a dog nail clipper. You don't want your dog to be scared of um, certain things from home. So that's really important. Number five is just be mindful that some dog breeds need regular grooming. So if your dog, um, I mean Lila's got very short hair so it wouldn't apply for her, but if your dog has long hair or a curly coat, you know, you can do things from home, but especially cutting around the face and things like that, they're still going to need their regular grooming appointments uh, with a dog groomer. And it's really important to keep doing that because you don't want to cause any matting or um, any issues with um, the dog's coat. So definitely uh, keep grooming. Um, do bits from home if you can, but definitely keep going to your appointments. So number six is know your limits. Know your limits is a really, really important do tip because your dog, you don't want to be pushing your dog to do anything. So when you mean know, know your limits, you know when your dog um, is becoming frustrated or agitated or you, know, you don't want your dog to feel stressed and anxious. So know your limits um, and at grooming your dog at home, but also know your dog's limits. You'll know the signs of when your dog wants to stop um, and doesn't want to carry on. So definitely bear that in mind. So I hope that was useful um, with some tips and I will do a video shortly just to explain a few more. These are the six most important do tips.